Hello, it's Jilly here from Funcrafts to do at home.com and this week I am going to show you how to turn this into one of these. So, what you're going to need is an empty toilet roll tube. I know it seems unbelievable, but stick with me and you'll see how easy this is. So, first thing that you need to do and is really the trick to making this successful is you need to take some PVA glue and coat the entire toilet roll tube with a couple of layers of glue that's inside and out and then let it dry between coats once it's dry you need to squash the tube flat Use a brayer to help it flatten if you've got one. Then you need to measure one centimeter sections and you are going to cut out each section. And this is what you will have. So the next thing you need to do is to take a hot glue gun and you're going to need a bamboo skewer for this. So just put a line of glue inside, not quite to the end. It needs to be sealed from one end all the way up, but then you need to leave enough space to put a bamboo skewer in there and squash that down until the glue has cooled down and dried. So what you're doing, you're leaving a loop in the end, which you will use later. So I've done this now with all of mine. And the next thing to do is to take some metallic paint. And I like to use the Imagination Crafts paint, the metallic. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know you can get it in the UK and I do know of at least one seller in the UK that does ship to the States and um, I will put that in the associated blog post. So give that really good covering, the sides, the back, the front. When you've done that, you're going to need to put them on a bamboo sc skewer to dry. So what I do is take a bit of oil, any kind of oil will do, and then I put the oil on the bamboo skewers. When the paint dries, it won't stick to the skewer because there's oil on there, okay? So then I hang them inside plastic cups and I put two per skewer, so if you've got nine or ten, you're going to need five cups and five skewers. And this is why I wear rubber gloves. It's very messy. <laughs> so I also, I did three all together, and the second one I did with black metallic paint. Now this paint isn't the same as the Starlight paint. It's flatter. It hasn't got the texture. Um, but this comes out with um, a nice flat texture that you can paint onto with um, glaze. So the third one I'm using Starlight's metallic paint again in gold. And I use sea sponge to apply the Imagination Crafts paint. And you can also see here that um, I've been using a paintbrush to hold the strip steady while I paint it. You just push it down to the fattest part of the paintbrush and um, kind of steady. And onto the skewer.
So when they're dry, you need to take some punch pliers. I use these 1.8 ones. Um, there is a link to my Amazon shop in the description below. And if you go to the Amazon shop, you will see I have got these pliers listed. So I've taken one strip and been very careful to make three holes spaced roughly the same distance apart. And then into those holes, I am going to put these teeny little silver brads which then open out at the back like a butterfly. And you will see later on what, what we're going to do about the fact that you have got these these opened up brads showing on the back. Don't worry about that for now. So then you will use that one to measure all the others. You just, I just put them side by side and made marks on them. I did use a ruler to make sure that I got them exactly in the middle. So you're measuring half a centimetre. And then just go over them again if you can't see them very well. So all the holes are roughly in the same place. So when they when when you're actually wearing this jewellery, um, all the brads will will be even. So just punch your holes through. And then to make sure that there's enough room to get the brad in, I just used a piercing tool to make sure that the holes were um, big enough. And then I put all my brads on, as you can see here. The next thing I did was to take some of the blue paint and just dab over the metal prongs at the back from from the brads. Just put a good coat on there to make them blend in. Then let them all dry. Can you see there, that's quite rough. You don't want that next to your skin. So I used some glossy accents by Ranger. And as you may know, this glossy accents will dry clear and hard. So I have put a line of glossy accents on top of the um, the pins that come through to the back that we've just painted and when it's dry you will find that those the metal is now embedded in the glossy accents now the black ones because the paint is flatter it hasn't got the texture I painted over each one of these all over front back and sides with glossy accents then I mixed some glamour dust, which is a very, very fine glitter, into some glossy accents. And then I just painted the fronts of them to give them a nice sparkle. And it's very subtle. Then I decided to use gold brads on the black because I thought that would look nice.
And with the last ones, I used these bronzy coloured brads, which are bigger than the other ones. And I did exactly the same with the black ones and the um, gold ones. I painted over the brads on the back and then put glossy accents over. And for each necklace I only used nine of these strips, so there was one kind of central and then four on each side. And I and I also used some beads to go in between the strips just to set the necklaces off nicely. Now you can use um whatever kind of stringing um you want to I've just chosen to use one millimetre black elastic and these gorgeous little silver beads and they have a one millimetre hole so it's easy to thread them and that's basically all there is to it so this is how you transform a simple toilet roll tube that you would normally just throw away into a gorgeous statement necklace. If you want to find out where you can get supplies, look in the description below where you will find a link to my Amazon shop and also a link to my website funcraftstodoathome.com. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell so that you will get notifications of my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.